Hey everyone, it's Philip from Power Apps, and I'm going to be showing you some of our advanced responsiveness feature features and the auto layout containers. The first thing we'll want to check is whether our screen size and orientation properties are the, the scale to fit is disabled as well as the lock orientation because that'll help uh, make best use of the advanced pro uh, properties. So if we take a look at the insert menu, we'll see a couple of new controls, the horizontal container and the vertical containers. And the purpose of these controls is to lay out all the controls put inside of it. They will control their X and Y and also their width and height in many cases. So let's take a look at how this works. I will add a couple, uh, a few buttons to this uh, control. And if I select the container, I can see a whole host of new properties here. I can change the horizontal or vertical layout. I can change uh, how, uh, how the the, the uh, controls are uh, positioned vertically or horizontally. Uh, and again, if the container changes sizes, everything will be laid out uh, properly inside of uh, inside of the control. Um, I can also I can also uh, set a gap between these pro between these controls as well as uh, control their uh, overflow and wrapping. One of the neatest uh, properties of the auto layout containers is uh, if you select a child of the auto layout container, you have the ability for that child to have a flexible height or flexible width. And by turning this on, the child will claim all the unused space in the parent container, regardless of the size of the uh, size of the container. So if I select the parent container and resize it, this child will always claim all the available, all the um, unused space. I can also uh, have another select another child and turn its uh, flexible height to on. And in this case, uh, the children will split the, uh, the, uh, the all the available space equally. Or if I make this uh, fill portion set to two out of the three, then this one will have two thirds of the uh, available space. Now let's take a look at a real life example of an app and how you can uh, use these responsive containers um, uh, to, to make it. Uh, we'll start with one of our new screen templates, uh, which are responsive screen templates. We'll choose the sidebar uh, screen template, which is a typical kind of a typical app where we have a, side, uh, a sidebar, a main item and a header, a uh, main pane and a header at the top. So in this, on the, this sidebar, we will uh, insert a gallery, uh, a vertical gallery, uh, and we'll make it stretch to the size of the parent container. Maybe I will just show the title um, and we'll assign a data source, the accounts entity. Uh, in, the main, uh, in the main panel, we can add an edit form. Again, make it stretch to the size of the container, assign it the same data source and maybe show the record, ensure that the uh, item is shown is the one selected by the gallery. So uh, gallery three dot selected. Um, we can also maybe add a few more fields to this uh, form. Um, the account, account number, address, uh, maybe a few of these address fields. Um, that should do the trick. And here in the top, maybe I'll add a couple of uh, a few buttons. Uh, maybe I'll use the uh, icons. And for these, maybe uh, I'll want, uh, I'll select the parent container. I'll want to center these both vertically and horizontally and maybe add a good gap here. And maybe I'll change the color of the container the background of the container. And maybe also I'll change some of these items. So this one can be uh, the cancel button um, and this one can be something else. Now, if I uh, play this app and preview this app, uh, I can see that it's already responsive. We have this new window size uh, option, which will allow you to see uh, how the app acts responsibly by just resizing your browser window. And as you can see, with very little work, everything will be handled automatically. Uh, the app is uh, responsive and uh, everything we said already takes place with uh, everything we've put, uh, we've put there. 
Now let's take a look at some of the more advanced uh, scenarios we may want to build with, especially with mobile apps. Uh, there are scenarios, for example, where you may not want to see this, uh, see, see, see the gallery on the left. Uh, you may want to hide it. And uh, the way you want to hide it, uh, the, the way if you do not want to see it, you want the form to take the whole screen. It's very simple. All you have to do is uh, just uh, make uh, the visibility property of this container uh, high uh, false, and uh, the auto layout con container will automatically make sure that everything is laid out properly. So let's try that. Maybe on this, uh, when, when we press this uh, X button, uh, we will uh, set a variable uh, for gallery visibility to false. Um, oh, sorry. I am doing this. This should be in the on select of the button, of course. Uh, set gallery visible to false. And maybe on this button, we can set it to true. And then all we have to do is make sure that when we select the side by container uh, where the gallery is and search for its uh, visibility property, all we have to do is make sure it's set to the uh, gallery visible. And let's see how this works in uh, real life. So if I press plus, the gallery will show up. And if I press X, it'll hide and this container will just automatically uh, relay out. And again, this uh, it makes no difference how big the form is or not. Uh, this will uh, uh, take place. Now uh, let's look, uh, take a look at another uh, useful example here is that in mobile apps, sometimes you want things to be laid out vertically. So have this gallery and the form side by side. But if you're in a mobile, uh, in, a, in, a, in a mobile phone, you want them to be on top of each other. And this can be simply uh, said by taking the whole uh, parent container and changing its, uh, changing its uh, property, uh, direction property from horizontal to vertical based on the size of the screen. So we'll simply take the look at the layout direction property of this uh, container and instead of it always being horizontal, we'll make it uh, conditional. So uh, if this screen, which is a uh, screen two dot size um, is a uh, screen size dot small, small. Uh, so if, if the screen size is small, we'll want to have this uh, gallery laid out vertically. So we'll say layout uh, direction dot vertical. And else, if it's not small, we'll want to horizontally, we'll want it horizontally laid out. So layout uh, direction dot horizontal. Uh, and that's it. Um, and if we see how this works in real life, see we have a big gallery here. It's still big enough, but if I shrink it uh, enough, uh, it'll 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 switch, and basically it'll go where the gallery is shown above and the form is shown uh, sh shown below. And of course, this uh, hiding the gallery will still uh, still work, and you can uh, still show it. Uh, and you can uh, play further with some of these default properties for min width and min height to get it to exactly you want. Hope this was helpful and have fun building uh, responsive apps.